Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about a rig that's really growing in popularity in European lure angling. That is the Shebrushka rig. It's known under many names, the Flexi Head rig, the Bottom Jig. There's so many names to it, but essentially what it is, is an articulated jig head. And by that, I mean a jig head that has more movement. So the Shebrushka rig is a flexible method of joining a hook on a weight essentially, which gives two main advantages in my opinion. The first of which being you can change really easy. If you want to swap hook sizes or weights you can do that very quickly and you don't have to cut up your whole rig or buy different jig heads etc because you can buy a mix of weights and a mix of hooks and they'll all work together. The second advantage of the Shebarashka rig is that you can get a lot more movement into your lures. When you're fishing with shads there's a lot more keel on that hook because it's attached to the weight via a clip rather than just you know molded together like a lead jig head. So what that means is that you can get a lot more keel and flank on a shad and if you're fishing other plastics you can get them to stand up like buoyant Z-man plastics etc and you can really get a lot more wiggle into your lures. Even the current on a river can impart so much action into your lure when you're not doing anything on your end. Shebarushka weights can be bought in a number of different sizes. You can also get them in tungsten now and in glowing colours. I'm going to be using these offset worm hooks which are size 3.0. To make a Shebarushka rig, the first thing you have to do is take the pin out of your Shebarushka weight. Once you've taken the pin out of your Shebarushka weight, you've then got to put your hook onto your Shebarushka pin and you've got to make sure that you've done it the right way. So if you watch how I'm doing it here, make sure you do it so the bulb is facing upwards. Now all you need to do is thread that clip back into the weight, making sure that you do it with the weight the right way up. I like to buy weights that have the number of the grams written on them so I can be sure that I've put the pin in the right way up. Then it's a case of adding your lure on. I've chose a weedless hook so I'm going to rig this shad up weedless. This shad has loads of little belly slits in it which make it great for fishing weedless and it's got loads of little ribs on it which are good for vibration and I can add a scent to it if I want to. Finally I'll nick the hook point into that plastic to make it completely weedless. And there you have it, that's my Shebarushka rig complete. And there you have it guys, that's your Shebarushka rig ready to go and capture a few predators. I hope you learned something from this video and I hope to see your catch pictures shortly. Thanks for watching, get on it.